The Minister for Transportation, Rotimi Amechi, don't pour out in disappointment with the way work is slow for the train station for Lagos Ibadan Rail Corridor. The minister will be inspect the rehabilitation of the narrow guard rail lines, plus the ongoing construction work for the train station, say in the vex, sake of the way the China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation, CCECC, fit no meet up with the April completion date, sake of the work to get a slow motion. Our correspondent, Amadine Ui, now give us the story. The inspection commenced from the Alago Meiji train station in Lagos. The team, which comprises senior ministry officials, led by the Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Amechi, and the Minister of State for Transportation, Gwemi Sala Saraki, and also the Governor of Oyo State, Shei Makinde, inspected the train station at the Alago Meiji train yard and the quality of work being done. Took a ride on the Norigas from uh, EBJ to Apapa Wharf and inspected along the route some of the progress made on the standard gauge. Also took a ride there from Apapa all the way to Iju Station uh, on a new relocated narrow gauge. It's an achievement, it's a good development. The inspection then proceeded to the Apapa ports to view the ongoing rehabilitation of the narrow gauge lines being refurbished, which is expected to help gain access into the ports. The team then proceeded to the Lagos Ibadan Rail Corridor, where they met a jubilant reception of excited Lagosians. After assessing the ongoing construction works, they expressed worry at the speed of work done on the train stations. Some stations, they are doing well. You saw, you saw casual lights, it's near, nearing completion. There's an improvement in uh, Omo Adio. Uh, we didn't stop at Olodo. Abiyokuta, no, 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 no. There's an improvement in Ebute Meta. Where we have a problem is Ebute Meta to Apapa. I'm not, I don't think that they have done well. But the excuse is that all the equipment that they need are in the seaport. And until they birth, they can't even clear. And they're not able to birth because it's not yet their turn. So we're going to have a meeting with MPA to resolve all that. There is some level of disappointment with the station buildings, except for Kajola that we just inspected now. You can see there's a lot of difference Kajola between Kajola and the others. The others, we always have uh, the carcasses, carcasses. There are other minuses. Uh, for instance, the station buildings, we are not getting what we expect. But like I said, you have to look at all the things that are, I mean, all sides, all the various factors. For instance, a lot of the finishing materials and the materials for the stations are stuck at the ports. So the ships that brought some materials could not bath. Some that have bath and the containers have been moved out, they cannot come out. But uh, we are going to have a meeting with the officials of the Port Authority to see how they can help us to accelerate bringing out these materials so that we can uh, meet the schedules for finishing of these stations. Mr. Amici, while expressing reservations on the scheduled April completion date, however, says the ministry will work around the clock to ensure that bottlenecks affecting the project is eradicated. They believe that by April they will be ready. I don't know if that will be true or not. Let's wait and see. It is not necessarily the fault of engineering. It is the fact that administratively they are not able to birth the equipment that they need to complete this. The glasses, the doors, the windows, everything that they've imported, I said, not even in the seaport, but waiting to birth. And until those things are cleared, you won't be able to say. Amadine Ui, Plus TV Africa.